Mike, I'm sure you're familiar with Murphy's Law, yes? Yes, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. That's always struck me as a little dark, a little pessimistic, but there's another slightly less negative version I want to talk about today. Butter toast always lands butter side down. It's kind of weird that you want to talk about this considering you don't eat the glorious food that is bread, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Hey man, these come from listeners, you know. I'm just the conduit for their inspiration. Yes, the listeners speak through you. That's that's man right. Man of the people. Man of the people. This is known as the buttered toast phenomenon, which a great band name, just like run with that. And it's a real favorite of people on the internet. The idiom is a simple way to say that the worst will happen. If you drop a piece of toast, naturally you would want it to land butter side up to keep it from making a mess. But that's not the way it goes. This saying is often attributed to James Pan, who wrote this in a poem way back in 1884. I never had a slice of bread, particularly large and wide, that did not fall upon the floor and always on the buttered side. I don't like the way that that poem ends, but, you know, it's a, it's a nice poem. I think the last line's too long. I think if it just said always on the buttered side would flow better, but, you know, what you're going to do. Thanks, James. I'm sure I'm sure a poet, poetry nerd's going to tell me now why, like, the iambic pentameter of that poem was perfect, and I'm a heathen, but you can, what are you going to do? You can find Mike on Twitter as I-M-Y-K-E. Just about every nerdy website or television show, every science teacher, they've all used this as a lesson or an experiment. Here are just a few examples. A 1991 study by the BBC's television series QED found that when toast is tossed into the air, it lands buttered side down just about one half of the time, as would be predicted by chance. Your country is doing important work. A study on the subject by Robert Matthews won the Ig Nobel Prize for Physics in 1996. The TV show Mythbusters devoted part of an episode to the subject back in 2005. They too found that butter toast lands butter side down only half the time. However, it gets a little more interesting. In a second test, they mixed it up and the pair pushed... This is Jamie. Is this Jamie and uh, and Adam Adam. who did this? Mm -hmm. Uh, The pair of them pushed toast off the edge of a table. And in that situation, the toast showed a tendency to rotate just once before hitting the floor butted side down. In this episode, Adam Savage suggested the act of buttering compresses one side of the toast, making it slightly concave and more easily flipped by the air as it falls. The height of the table may also play a factor, giving the plummeting breakfast item too short of a time to fully rotate to land butter side up. If a piece of toast is actively pushed off a table, instead of merely falling or being dropped, the extra speed in its rotation may be enough for it to make it all the way around. But honestly, the idiom has to do with mere kitchen accidents, not someone spiking their toast into the ground. Take that, toast. What did it ever do to you? Not as much as it did to you. (laughs) That's that's true. (laughs) That's true. All right, let me take a break and thank our wonderful sponsor, Moo, for their support of this episode. Moo is an online print and design company that specializes in customizable business cards, postcards, stickers, and more for your business. If you're new to Moo and you're not familiar with their products, you can order a free sample pack for them. You go to their website, moo.com, and they will send that out to you so you can see exactly what their products look like and hold them in your hand. And oh boy, will you love it. Their full suite of products that include business cards and postcards and invitations, letterhead, stickers, and flyers will let you easily and seamlessly promote yourself and your brand they have wonderful quality for these products and they have special finishes that you can get as well gold foil new silver foil spot gloss letterpress all of these little touches that can make your products stand out they also have their own uh, templates if you're not sure about designing a card for yourself maybe your own business card they have wonderful templates which are inspired by their most creative customers and they have luxurious hardcover notebooks that feature a swiss binding so every page lays flat and they're made of premium paper that is protected by a tough tactile cover i have had moo business cards and products for years and years when it comes to making paper stuff for my business i wouldn't trust anybody else go to moo.com and use the promo code print moo at checkout to get 50 15% off of orders of $50 or more. That's MOO.com and the code PRINTMOO, or one word, for 15% off any order of over $50. Our thanks to Moo for their support of Ungeniest and Relay FM. There's a related saying that we have to explore as well the buttered cat paradox. Hmm. Uh, why? N- n- nobody should ever butter a cat. Are we do? Is this like another one of these pneumatic tube situations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, here you'd have greasy cat fur everywhere. And also, I guess if you 
put a butter cat into a pneumatic oh, tube, they'd it would probably go faster. They'd really move. They would, but all of this is terrible to cats, and that's the important part. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I'm not really an animal person, but whatever. You can uh, tweet Stephen at ISMH and, and tell him your feelings on this, I guess. I'm not shoving buttered cats through tubes. Okay. This well, is a you're saying. You're to talk about it, not me. <laughs> this is a saying. It's a blend of two idioms. Cats always land on their feet. And then, of course, the aforementioned butter toast always lands buttered side down. But do cats always land on their feet? More on that in a second, Mike. But first, let me talk about the paradox. So just thinking about the sayings, imagine a cat with a piece of butter toast strapped to its back with the butter side facing up. If the cat were to fall off a table, how would it land? On its feet. Like, obviously, we all know this. Yeah. But then the toast is butter side up and we can't have that. Well, then the cat should land on its back so the butter would hit the ground. Not see, now you're breaking the second law with his feet in the air, not on the ground first. I don't like this. Maybe the cat should just like throw the toast off. I don't know. Get both of them. You're just mad you can't think of a good way around it. Some have joked that a cat in this situation will fall victim to an anti-gravity effect rotating in the air as <laughs> the buttered toast and the cat's feet are both attracted to the ground. So I guess it just spins. I don't know. I'm not sure anyone actually falls into an anti-gravity effect, but maybe we should just move on. Yeah, I think you're just in one, right? I don't think you're... Anyway. (laughs) But I still have my unanswered question about how cats land. This is really cool. This is called the cat writing reflex. And it is a cat's innate ability to orient and turn itself midair to land on its feet. Cats have very flexible backbones and no functional collarbones, making them easily bendable. Well, now I have a question. Because earlier on, Mm -hmm. we all agreed... That buttered toast has a 50-50% chance of landing on one way or another, right? Sure. But we are not agreeing now that cats have a 50-50 chance because of the cat writing reflex. Well, what if there is like a toast writing reflex where it always goes butter side down? We don't know. That's not a thing. Who's done that research? Not a thing. Not a thing. Nobody's done the research. The amazing thing is, just to wrap this up, the cat writing reflex, it only takes a foot of space. So if your cat falls off a, a table, a foot off the ground, that's enough time for them to write themselves that's pretty cool that is very cool so now i'm going to devote my life to understanding if there's a toast writing reflex okay uh let us know nobody's done this this important knowledge and nobody's ever done it nobody's ever looked into it i can be that man probably for a reason but Mm -hmm. whatever just just let us know how that goes keep us keep us posted Mm -hmm. i would like to thank our listener adam for sitting this in uh, he sent both of these together because honestly, they go together as a pair because these they sure do. these ideas are awesome. You know what else is awesome, Mike? Do you know what else is awesome? Yes, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. That was a segue for the ages. It's a wonderful place. It is. This is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in September, and each September, those of us on Relay FM take some time to raise money for the kids at St. Jude, a hospital that treats. Thousands of kids with childhood cancer and other catastrophic diseases without charging their parents a dime. And it it is, of course, a hospital, but it's also a research institution. So they are using the latest and greatest science and technology to cure these kids. It's It's an aspiring place. My son's been a patient for a decade, and he's doing super well because of the hard work of the men and women at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So you can learn more, and we would love if you would donate to the campaign that we are running this month. You can do so at stjude.org slash ungeniused. And uh, thank you very much for your support. Thank you, everybody. If you want to learn more about buttered toasts and buttered cats and the cat riding reflex, we have some links in our show notes at relay.fm slash ungeniused slash 87. While you're there, you can send us an email and be uh, be a cool person like Adam and send in your own topic suggestions, or you can do so on Twitter. The show is at Ungenius. As we mentioned before, you can find Mike there as I-M-Y-K-E, and I'm on Twitter as I-S-M-H. And until our next Paradox, Mike, say goodbye. Goodbye. Adios.